Hello, it's good to see you. Today we have a nice collection of items that I purchased just this afternoon at Aldi. Now, of course, this isn't everything. Um, anything that had to be refrigerated or frozen, I've already put that away, so I can't have everything out. One thing in particular I wanted to tell you, if you have an Aldi in your area and you are looking for a turkey for Thanksgiving, I don't know how long it's going to be on sale, but this weekend they have their frozen turkeys for 59 cents a pound. Limit two, but I think two is sufficient for most people. Although I did see this one lady with this giant cart full of turkeys. They let her buy all of them, so um, it said limit two, please. So she was way over two. She had probably 20. as my cat. She probably had 20 in her cart. It was wild. Um, Anyway, but if you are looking for frozen turkeys, I just wanted to let you know that. Of course, most stores have them on sale, and then we'll continue to have them on sale for the next few weeks. So it's not really that hard to find. But the things that I have not uh, put away, I have out here. I have some stuff down here because I had more than normal. I haven't had much the last few times. I have my receipt, and it looks like I spent $73.36 today at Aldi. But I got a lot for my 7336, um, including the stuff in the refrigerator, which won't be part of this. So I have a lot of bread items, um, which I was completely out of bread, so I had to get several different types here. And I have, I have a cat who has suddenly decided to gallop around the house. So if you hear something that sounds like a little horse, it's my cat. Sorry. Let's start with the bread, because usually these packages are kind of crinkly and they can be noisy and I like to get them out of the way. And my son loves these. These are from Love and Fresh, which again is Aldi's brand. They have several different bakery items under the Love and Fresh name. Of course it's L apostrophe O-V-E-N, nice little play on words there. These are blueberry bagels, and they have these over with the other uh, bread items in the store. They're sometimes, you know, sometimes you find bagels, they're over in the refrigerated section. These are not. He absolutely loves these. He couldn't, she's really animated this evening. He couldn't eat bagels while he had his braces, but he now has, they've taken his braces off, so he gets to eat bagels again, so he's very happy. Now in this package you get one, two, three, four, five, six big bagels. And they're pretty cheap. I think they were $1.29 per package. So I got two of these and they're good for a pretty good while. Um, well these are good until November 19th. They'll they'll be long, they'll be gone long before then. Okay, so that's one bread item. Here's another one. All right, now these are also Love and Fresh. These are center split deli rolls. It's kind of hard to see it. The, the packaging kind of crinkles like that. We really like these for hot dogs. You see they're nice and thick like this. I've been very unhappy with hot dog buns lately because it seems like no matter what brand I buy, when you try to open them up to put the hot dog inside, they either don't want to open at all or they open too far and it just, you end up with two halves of of bread and it's very very unsatisfying but I found that these center split deli rolls work really well for hot dogs and my kids love these they're heavier than your standard hot dog bun like you have six of these in here and it's a 15 ounce package so it's almost a pound and normally hot dog buns don't aren't that heavy I think I might actually have some hot dog buns as well I think I picked up one of each but I can't I'll, don't remember now. I've set all this out and I forgot. Um, so it says they're a good source of iron and no trans fat and no artificial flavors. So they're lovely. Look at these beautiful rolls. I love the fact that Aldi's bread is wrapped in a thicker plastic than some store brand breads. I have that trouble with um, Walmart's bread, the bread that they have. The bags, the, pl the plastic is so thin but a lot of times you can get just a little hole in that bag and it can cause your bread to go stale or even start to mold and sometimes you may not spot it right away like if you shop like I do and you're kind of in a hurry and you just grab one and throw it in your cart you may not even notice it until you get home and that's it's very unfortunate so 
so these are the deli rolls they won't last long either <laughs> now they do cost a bit more than regular uh, hot dog buns but they really like them these are in my way so I'm going to move these <laughs> beautiful strawberries look at that these are foxy strawberries <laughs> that's literally that's the name of the company foxy strawberries um, from California one pound of strawberries now these will start to go up in price of course because they're starting to go out of season but there are times uh, in the middle of summer that sometimes you can go into Aldi and get a pound of strawberries for a dollar twenty-nine I've seen them as cheap as 99 cents before I think these were a dollar ninety-nine they smell really good <laughs> they smell wonderful and Foxy is usually the brand that they have when I go to get strawberries. They also have an organic option. They, um, I think the organic strawberries are $3.29, but it's a smaller container. These are not organic. Um, so it's okay if you eat organic. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, it's okay. Oh, here's some bread, too. Of course, I have to show you this. Here we have my loaf of classic white bread from Love and Fresh, of course. This we use for sandwiches. Um, my kids like to make their lunches for school several days a week. I think it mainly depends on what they're having for lunch at school that day. Um, they both have things they don't really like that much. So if they're having something a little unsavory, they'll just pack a lunch and take it with them. But with this, you get a one pound, four ounce loaf of bread, and this was only 79 cents. It was on sale. Usually, I think they're about 85 cents. It was a little bit cheaper today. Lovely uh, sliced bread. Of course, they also have wheat bread if you prefer that, and it's not much more than this. But my kids like this kind, so that's what I got. And also, I don't do all my shopping at Aldi. There's other stuff that I buy in other places. So this is in all my groceries for the week. I always feel obligated to say that because there's always somebody who says, is that all you're feeding your kids this week? It's not. This is just some of the things that I buy at Aldi. Um, the other stuff I get elsewhere. I'm just throwing that out there. All right. So here we have, they have Little Debbie products at uh, our local Aldi stores. Although I have had people tell me that they don't have them at all Aldi's. I don't know if that's true or not. But this, uh, this is one of my older son's favorites. He likes these when he packs lunches. My younger son doesn't like them so much. But when he makes his own lunch, sometimes he likes to throw an oatmeal cream pie in there in his lunch. So in here you have 12 sandwich cookies that are individually wrapped. The entire box weighs one pound, 0.2 ounces, and um, they are a little bit cheaper at Aldi. I don't think they're a lot cheaper than they are at any other store, just a little bit. I just went ahead and grabbed it because I was already there and I was walking past, and um, so I just went ahead and grabbed a box of this. I'm not a big fan, so I don't I don't mess with them. These these pants here are for my older son also. They have these super incredibly soft fleece pajama pants. My older son loves to wear these. He used to have, he used to wear a lot of matching pajamas, but he's kind of outgrown that, so now he'll just wear like a plain t-shirt and pajama pants to sleep in. And these are so incredibly soft. Now these were made by Royal Class, and they're called Men's Sleep Pants. And this man looks like he's ready to face the day, but I guess he's actually going to bed. I don't normally look like that when I'm ready to go to bed. I usually look like I'm about half dead already by the time I go to bed. They had them in small, medium, large, and extra large. I could have gotten the small waist size wise, but I wanted them to be a little bit longer. My son is 13, but he's six feet tall, and he's mostly leg. He already has a 34 inch inseam. So I have to make sure to try to find pants that are long enough. It's very difficult, especially when it comes to pants like these. Uh, with jeans or khaki pants, it's easier because you can choose the inseam measurement. But with these, you really can't. They're mainly sized based on their, their waist size, but they don't have an inseam. So I don't know how long these are. 
if they're a little too short it's not the end of the world um, they probably will be most of them are but he wanted he wanted me to see if I could find him a few more pairs of these super soft fleece pants now especially since it's getting colder uh, it's a little more chilly at night so he likes these better than some of the thinner material sleep pants that he has so we're going to give these a try they only had one pair in that size. They had a bunch of smalls, tons of those, but I wanted to get the medium just because sometimes the mediums are a little bit longer. They have a slightly longer inseam measurement. Not always. And here I have two Roma tomatoes. Um, I'm really bad to buy too many tomatoes for what we use them for. I'm gonna make salads one night and my problem is I go and buy a bunch of tomatoes and I end up throwing half of them away before we eat them. But I figured two would be sufficient for the salads. I'm going to make grilled chicken salad one night this week. So I got two and it was only 33 cents. I, I happened to see it on the register as she was ringing it up. So I have two adorable little Roma tomatoes. I like the fact that you can buy them loose. That wasn't always the case at our Aldi stores here. Um, for a while there, you could only get them in bags or plastic containers. You had to buy a certain amount. You couldn't just get one or two. And they sell them by the pound loose like that, so I really like that. Oh, and I'm not a big avocado fan, but I did notice that they have avocados, at least at my Aldi right now, for 45 cents a piece, which is really, really good if you're an avocado person. I'm really not. Um, every now and then I'll eat a little guacamole, but it's it's pretty rare. And these are, again, for lunches. These are for my younger son. He likes these little cheese dip and cracker sticks. And see, they look like little tiny bread sticks in there. He, he loves these, and they're perforated. So you can just grab it, and it makes a loud noise, so I'm not going to do it now. But you bend it back, you bend it, and then you pull it apart. And you can just use one at a time, but you get, this is like a whole set here. So you get one, two, three, four, five. And they were a dollar nine. So you get five of these for less than a dollar and a quarter, which I think is pretty cool. So sometimes when he's making his lunch, he will throw one of these in there as well. So I used to like stuff like that when I was a kid too. And here's something for somebody other than the kids. I have some cat treats here. This is uh, These are from Heart to Tail, which is another Aldi brand. These are made in the USA. They have no um, synthetic colors, so that's cool. No wheat or soy, no BHA or BHT. And they are one calorie treats which is good because as much as Evie runs around here, she's starting to get a little bit of a gut, like it hangs down. It's really, we call it her hangy down gut. She's starting to get a little bit of one. Pumpkin is too, but not quite as bad. She's gotten quiet, so I think she's gone to lay down somewhere. But at night, they I call these YouTube snacks because at night the cats have gotten used to me coming downstairs and giving them their YouTube snack, which consists of a handful of these. And if I don't give them the YouTube snack, they rebel and they make lots of racket right outside of my door. <laughs> Sometimes they do anyway, but this pretty much assures that they will leave me alone while I make a video. So these cat treats are YouTube snacks. Center filled with crunchy texture helps control tartar. Now these are the salmon flavor. They have chicken, salmon, and tuna. I think those are the three that they have. So these are salmon flavor. It's a little three ounce bag. And I'm thinking these were a dollar. I think they were, they're either 99 cents or a dollar nine. But this bag will last a couple of weeks. So I was almost out and I happened to go down that aisle and I just went ahead and grabbed it. And I got one that was tuna flavor as well. Um, every now and then I like to, to switch them around. I had been giving them chicken flavor, but those are almost all gone. This is also a three ounce package. And here you can kind of see what they look like. If you were to split one open, they have a hard outer shell and then a softer middle part. It's kind of like uh, chocolate crave cereal if you've ever had it, it's really good. Probably for a person tastes better than this. I don't recommend eating this, but 
Crave cereal is awesome. It's, it's a good snack too. It's addictive. So these are tuna flavor. And I really love these pouches because they're resealable. See, they have the little, like a Ziploc seal. So you tear this. This never tears. I always end up having to cut this part off. It never tears right. It'll tear, but it'll go like this way. And then I end up having to get the scissors to just cut the whole thing. But you have to be careful not to cut the Ziploc part, which is there. So you can give your cat some and seal it up and save them for later. Helps preserve the, the freshness. Now here is a little treat. I was not buying these for the longest time and then they had them on sale one week and I got some to try and these are such yummy chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookies. They're from Village Bakery, which is an Aldi brand as well. Um, they have Love and Fresh uh, and Village Bakery and I think they have at least one more. You get 10 chocolate chunk cookies and they are so delicious. This is a 14 ounce package and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 cookies in there. And they're wonderful. You can see how thick they are and how big they are. They're, they're pretty thick and they're crunchy. I'm not a big fan of chewy cookies. These are not chewy. And you can see how big they are. I can't really smell them through the package because it's it's all sealed, as you can see. That's making me hungry just holding it. <laughs> so we they have they have other flavors as well. They have toffee almond and oatmeal raisin. Sometimes they have white chocolate macadamia nut, which is also really good. It reminds me of the cookies at Subway. They're kind of like that. And I think they're usually about $2.79, and for $2.79 you get a box of 10 of those. So it's not a bad deal. And I have here some canned peaches. Now these are from Sweet Harvest, not the character. She would flip out. She would never eat these. She wouldn't even touch this. They, they have them in heavy syrup, but I like the ones in the extra light syrup instead. I've never been a fan of that heavy gooey syrup. No, I just, it, it, it almost adds this too sweet taste to the fruit, in my opinion, whether it's peaches or fruit cocktail or whatever it is. I like the lighter syrup. It just, you can taste the fruit more that way, and it's not just this syrup that you taste. Now, this is a 14.7 ounce, 14.75 ounce can, and I love the fact that it has the pop top, so you don't have to drag out the uh, can opener, which for me always seems to be in the very back of the drawer and I have to fish it out and and then it gets mad at me and then it prevents me from opening the cat the drawer next time and that's just it never ends well. So I like the fact that they have the pull tab at the top. Most of their canned uh, fruits and vegetables seem to have that. I got two of these actually I got two because I was running low on canned vegetables or canned fruit. Now these do not have it. You see this? Now this is a can of pineapple chunks. We also eat these pretty frequently. Sometimes the kids will take a little reusable plastic container and they will put some of these in the container to take with their lunch if they just want some pineapple. And then the rest of it we will put in a, um, a reusable plastic container that we keep in the refrigerator to eat later. This is a 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks. They have pineapple chunks, pineapple tidbits, and the pineapple slices, which is like the whole ring of pineapple. And it's it's very good and very inexpensive. I think these are, I want to say they're 79 cents a can. My receipt is covered up right now, so I can't look. But I got two of these, and these are also from Sweet Harvest. Not the character. It's just a brand name. Oh, here's something I found. This looked really interesting. I didn't need it, but I had to see what this smelled like. I'm always fascinated by scented soap, especially when it's a really intriguing scent. And this one was. This is um, a liquid soap that was made by, it just says Source, but it's an Aldi brand. You can see it has the little Aldi thing back here. 
It is a liquid hand soap, and the scent is toasted marshmallow. Now I'm very curious to see what this actually smells like. I love toasted marshmallows. They are so delicious. Even if you catch them on fire, you just blow it out, blow the fire out and eat it. It's really good. I love burnt popcorn too. There's something about it. I know it's not good for you, but I like it anyway. This is a 10 fluid ounce bottle, a little plastic bottle. Um, and they had, they had, um, they also had an apple cinnamon scented liquid soap in the same section. I found this over with um, stuff like laundry detergent, fabric softener. It was just kind of stuck over there with that stuff, cleaners. If you're Aldi's like mine, they don't have a huge cleaning section. So if you're interested in checking this out, it's probably back with the um, cleaning products. So you can see here it has like the little campfire and the little marshmallows on the sticks. So I'm really curious to see if it actually smells like uh, toasted marshmallow and I have to wonder how they came up with that scent. What's this lovely, almost like a bronze colored pump here? And it's plastic too. And it's locked, you know, and of course you twist it and, you, and then it pops up and then it's ready to use. So I may stick that in the kitchen. We wash our hands a lot in the kitchen, so I always have hand soap and towels in there for that. Oh, this is turned on its side. Got to turn it up slowly. Sometimes they, it's noisy when you turn it up. Now this I've shown you before, um, and we haven't had much of this lately, and I actually didn't even need these. I only bought it because it was on sale. This is Cheese Club Shells and Cheese, the original. And it's just like Velveeta Shells and Cheese. To me, it tastes exactly the same. I can't tell a difference. But I did buy a couple of these because they were on sale for 79 cents. I think normally it's $1.29 or something. But anyway, I bought a few of these just to stock up and have them for later. It's a 12-ounce box of macaroni and cheese. And if you don't eat macaroni and cheese, or you think it's from the devil, it's fine. <laughs> we can agree to disagree on, on whatever you like. But I, we're going to eat all that, and then we'll probably go buy more. All right, now this, this is for my younger son. He loves uh, grape juice, any kind of grape juice, really. I prefer to buy this kind, the white grape juice, because... The purple grape juice, if you spill it, it stains. It seems to stain almost instantly. And uh, it never fails that some will get spilled on the carpet or on the sofa or, you know, it just does. This kind doesn't. You see, it's just kind of like a pale yellow to it. And this is from Nature's Nectar, which is another Aldi brand. You'll notice that most of the things in Aldi are Aldi brands. Contains 100% juice from Concentrate, and it was made with Niagara grapes. And this is 64 ounces, and I love their juices. They're very inexpensive, but they're really good. We've tried several different kinds of their of their juices like that, um, and some of the ones that are like V8 Splash, uh, and they're and they're really good. They're really good. And a jug of purified water. I don't think I've ever bought a jug of water at Aldi. I think this is the first time. Now I have bought bottled like little water bottles. I have bought that, um, but I bought this for my younger son mainly. He um, he is training to run a 5K in. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's it's like two weeks two weeks from now, and so he I like to when he fills up his water bottle. He has training after school several days a week, and I will fill up his water bottle with this um, just whatever water. I mean like purified water or filtered water. Um, and these are very inexpensive. You can get a whole gallon at our Aldi for 69 cents. And this will fill up his water bottle many times. So I just like to start him out with this because I know um, from my own experience, if you use tap water, it, when it gets kind of warm, like room temperature, it doesn't taste very good. So I know that this doesn't have that weird taste to it when it's at room temperature. So I wanted to just go ahead and get a, a container of this. I still have some, but I wanted to make sure I had some more when it runs out. Plus, I like to drink it too. So he can use some, and then I'll drink some as well. So I'm trying to drink more water anyway. I did get hot dog buns, by the way. I just saw them. 
I grabbed I, I grabbed the deli rolls and then I went on down the aisle and I saw the hot dog buns and I just went ahead and grabbed some of those too. So we have some of both. We can because sometimes my, my older son likes to eat the deli rolls just by themselves like a snack. So maybe I was thinking those would get eaten up before we had hot dogs, because that's very possible. We also have Savor It's Clubhouse Crackers. And these are like the Keebler cl uh, Club Crackers. Same thing. I'm surprised they could even call them that. I'm surprised that's not a trademark violation, but it must be okay. Um, these are really yummy. I like these um, sometimes with a little bit of cheese or, you know, just, just by themselves. They're flaky, buttery, and light. And my kids like them too. They like to eat these with some apples and cheese sometimes. Like a little snack. This is a 13.7 ounce box of Clubhouse Crackers. And they taste just like the Keebler ones to me, and, but they're a lot less expensive. Okay. Now I have some stuff spread out over here. I really bought a lot compared to what I normally do, but I didn't go last weekend. That's probably why. I only went to one other store. I didn't even make it to Aldi last weekend. Last weekend was crazy. All right. Here we have eight pre-sliced hamburger buns. Now these are also from Love and Fresh up here. And I'm actually going to use these for chicken sandwiches one night this week. Um, I have some chicken patties that I'm going to use to make chicken sandwiches with. So that's what these are for. This is a 12 ounce package of hamburger buns. And I think these were only 89 cents. It was less than a dollar. And again, they come in that nice thick plastic. So it's, it's not as likely to get a hole punched in it from being handled or moved around. Um, yeah, so I got those for our chicken sandwiches. We haven't actually had hamburgers in forever. I should make hamburgers one night, but I just haven't. I don't know. I don't know why. Here are the hot dog buns. Now these look better. I kind of eyeballed them a little bit. I remember that now, looking, picking them up. Because sometimes you can tell how well they're cut just by looking at them. And even with the Aldi brand, I've had trouble with them either being not cut much at all. They're cut just a little bit. And then when you try to pull them apart, they don't really open right. Or they're cut too far and they just basically fall into two pieces when you try to open them. These look like they may be okay. Like they're cut about half to three quarters of the way. The really only, only way to find out for sure is to actually use it, so we'll find out one night. These are, again, Love and Fresh, eight pre-sliced hot dog buns. And this is also a 12-ounce package. And this has the pretty red and brown border up here at the top with their little LF logo, a little Love and Fresh logo on there. I'm trying not to squish them. <laughs> I got all the way to Aldi. I drove my truck and I got all the way up there and realized I left all my bags at home. I had no bags. So instead of purchasing bags in the store, and they didn't have any boxes up front to put anything in, um, instead of purchasing any paper bags, I just kind of took the whole cart out and loaded it up in the truck. And then when I got home, my kids and I just had to kind of lug it out by the arm load and it was very awkward and it took a while. Hey, look, I have a vegetable. I know, it's so rare. Um, don't judge me. I have celery. This is from Dole. So this actually isn't one of the, uh, it's not like an Aldi brand. Field packed celery. That's heavy. Nice and heavy. This was inexpensive too. I think this was only 79 cents. Um, has Mickey Mouse on it. My younger son asked me to pick up some celery. He likes celery and carrots with a little bit of ranch in a bowl. So I'm getting ready to make dinner as soon as I get done here. And part of his dinner will be some celery and carrots with a little thing of ranch uh, dressing in a bowl. He loves that. Probably give some to my older son too. Of course you wash it before you use it. And it's a product of California. So I can get a lot of, uh, we probably won't use all this, more than likely. I will use about half of it and the rest ends up just sitting in the refrigerator till I throw it out. 
And the last thing I have is something I've never seen there before. I don't know what to make of it, but I had to get it. It's heavy. This is Wild Cola. It is Craft Wild Cola. And I have no idea. I have no idea what this is about. Um, when I first spotted it, I thought it was some kind of weird beer. But it's not. It's a cola product. So you get four 12-ounce bottles. And they are glass bottles. It has a little wolf on there looking like he's ready to go fly a plane. And it even says, take flight. So let me see. So here we have it. It's from Summit. It's kind of hard to read, but it's right there. Looks like a bottle of beer, like a craft beer, but it's not. Um, let me tell you what's in it. Let's see here. It has triple filtered carbonated water, cane sugar, natural flavors, caramel color, phosphoric acid, and caffeine distributed by Aldi Incorporated. And this also has the Aldi Twice as Nice guarantee, which is cool. If you don't like it, you can return it, and they will give you your money back and replace it with a comparable item, which is wonderful. Now, these were uh, $3.99, and for that, you get four of these 12-ounce bottles. This little, little cap. I don't know if it's a twist cap or if it needs a bottle opener. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but we'll try it later. I thought it would just be interesting. I've never seen a craft cola before. That's kind of cool. So, for a dollar a bottle, I hope it's good. I'm sure it is. I'm going to give it a try. It goes all the way up to here. It's hard to see because the bottle itself is so dark. But, wild cola. I'm going to stick these in the refrigerator, get them nice and cold. And then maybe tomorrow we'll we'll give them a try and see how they are. So that's I think that's everything I have. Oh no, it's not. It's not. I'm so sorry. It's not. It's not everything I have. I have this. I forgot I have these things. Look at this beautiful soft robe. Isn't that gorgeous? I had to really pick through these to find this. Um, I got it for my mom. I've already started Christmas shopping. I've already bought things for both of my kids and my mom. And one thing for my dad. So um, I'm well on my way to getting my presents all purchased. I can't wait to show you all the stuff I got. I'm going to get some cool stuff for everybody this year. This is a cozy faux Sherpa robe. See, and it has a hood on it. You know, it doesn't really show you the hood, but there's it has a hood. I had to dig through the whole display to find this. They only had two sizes. One is small, medium. The other is large, extra large. And I got this for my mom, and I wasn't really sure if I should get small, medium, or large, extra large. She's like dead in the middle. I mean, it, she could go either way. So um, they had a lot of both, fortunately. A lot of them, people had taken them out of the ribbon. You see, it's it's packaged in this ribbon here, and it has a piece on the back. And this is from Sarah, S-E-R-R-A, which is another Aldi brand. Um, it says small medium is four, size 4 to 10, and large extra large is a 12 to 18. Now, my mom wears like a, a size, I don't know, 8 to 10 in most stuff. So I didn't want it to be too, too small. I wanted it to be nice and big and comfortable. So I just decided, I decided to go with a large, extra large, although it may be way too big for her. I don't know. But since several of these were open, I could look at it. I mean, I hated to do it, but I thought, well, it's already out of the ribbon, so go ahead and look at it. Um, it, has, it has a nice hood on the top, and it's not super long. I think it maybe comes down to your knees. But I thought, see, you can see the Sherpa lining. It is so incredibly soft and thick. I thought she might really like something like this. That she could wear over her pajamas or whatever. You know, whatever she wants to do. So that's a, an, a, an early Christmas present for my mom. You'll probably see it again when I get all my presents out. When I'm showing you everything I bought everybody. And somebody asked me too, do you worry about people that you bought presents for seeing these videos? Nobody in my family watches my videos. It's totally not a problem. <laughs> they don't. Nobody watches my stuff. 
They think it's cool that I do it, but they don't watch my videos, so they're not going to see it. And here we have flour tortillas, because I want to make burritos one night. These are from Pueblo, Pueblo Lindo. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'm sorry. It's an eight count package of these giant uh, flour tortillas. This is a 20 ounce package. Look how big they are. <laughs> They're gigantic. And my son, my older son, also likes to eat these as a snack just by themselves. He'll just take one out and fold it up and eat it like a big napkin or something. It's really weird. But he will eat these just by themselves. So hopefully I'll have enough to make burritos one night. I'll have to do it soon before he eats them all. I like how cold they feel. They always feel cold to me. That's weird. But they also have the resealable thing down here. So it's perforated down here at the bottom. You just pull this piece, this little tab, and you pull it off. It makes a nice little zip sound. And then you have the little zip closure here. And that keeps them from drying out, which is wonderful. So that, for sure, is everything I have here to show you, except for stuff that's in the refrigerator or a freezer, which I have to leave there, obviously. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming to see my items. I hope that you enjoyed it. And again, remember, if you're looking for a good uh, frozen turkey that's cheap, they do have them at Aldi this weekend for 59 cents a pound, at least in my area, probably elsewhere as well. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you again really soon.